guys, so we're finally getting away in the van. Uh, we're heading over the range, over Walk Mountain. Uh, be a good chance to give you guys an insight into you know, what sort of EGT temps, um, what fuel use you know, if we end up using. And we're fully loaded at about, oh, we'd, be, we'd be right on the limit of our 7.4, I would say, if had to get. So we'll do some highway towing in 4th and 5th at 100, and we'll, we'll just show you the difference in the EGT temps. Um, Scan gauge is really good for that, so I'll have it set up for water temp, uh, average fuel use, EGTs, and boost. And uh, we'll see how she goes over the mountain. Alright, well, uh, so we've got cruise control at 100, 100 kilometres an hour in fourth gear. So that gives you an idea of what kind of revs they do. Um, it, it is a little high, but the engine's not working very hard. And as you can see, the EGTs are, are, are really low. Um, we are on flat ground. Uh, once we get into the hillier stuff, we'll We'll do this test again and I'll show you what the difference is. Right, so we slipped her into fifth gear and at 100 k's an hour on flat ground, the EGTs jump 100 degrees. So we're just about to start going up a bit of an incline here and you'll see the speed has dropped a bit and uh, the EGTs just, just soar. If you knock it back to fourth, it really keeps the EGTs under control and the car does it a lot easier. So we've been really looking forward to getting away as a family, so we're heading up over the range. Um, got the bike in the back, going to do a grass track event. Uh, it'd be pretty interesting to see how I go. I haven't been on the bike for a while, but um, it's good to have everything loaded up. I just thought we'd use this opportunity to run through a few uh, towing scenarios for you guys that are interested. Something interesting I've noticed with the scan gauge, um, and this, this really goes to show how, how accurate they are and how you can diagnose problems with them, is once we're getting up into higher altitudes, the car actually makes less boost. So I'm guessing, and, and comment below um, if, if you know what the true reason is, but I'm guessing it's something to do with the air density. Um, it actually, it's like two pounds. So normally flat out, it's making about 16 pound of boost. And you get up into the hills and the most you'll ever see is like 14 pound of boost. So um, scan gauge is really accurate like that. And it shows up some of these funny little things you never would realize. So we're heading up over the range now and third gear is pretty comfortable. Um, it pulls from a thousand revs all the way through to three grand. Um, so just sort of leave it in third gear and just let it chug its way up over the mountain. Um, next stop, Apsley Falls. Well, now we've got the worst hill of the range. It's really gradual, hardly feels like you're going uphill. But, um, so check out the EGTs now. Uh, we're pushing 600. Um, in fourth, back, nearly back to third now. Um, comment down below who's got the golden rule on what's a safe EGT temp. Um, I try and you know not go over 600. If I get to 600, I, I back off a bit. Um, but yeah, let us know if anyone really knows what the golden rule is with EGT temps. Comment below. So our first stop will be at Apsley Falls. Get some nice shots there. It's a beautiful spot. Great little stopover for one night. Um, uh, we'll get the campfire out tonight and. Uh, Got a few friends coming, really looking forward to it. Oh, I thought you would have driven off. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, today. Eh? Um, I let all my mates win. I let them win. Um, no, I'm pretty rusty and um, I'm just really happy to have um, not hurt myself and we had a great day. Family had a great day watching. Um, so we're pretty well back down the range now and, and just to recap on like towing and being loaded to 7.4 tonne, 
not just with a Land Cruiser, with dual cab ute. Um, it, 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 is, it is able to be done safely. Um, you don't need a truck. Everyone says you just need a truck these days. Um, as far as how the car drives and if it feels safe or not, 100%. I, I don't have a problem with it. Um, then the beauty of it not being a truck is it's not a truck. So when you unhook, um, it, it's still practical in a car sense. Yes, it's a compromise again. But um, no, as far as towing up and over the range, feels safe, it's straight on the road. Um, when, when we get back into town, we'll, we'll fill her up and we'll see how much fuel it used. So anyway, we're pulled up here for the night. Um, we'll show you around this great little spot called Mount Seaview. We come here regularly. It's about an hour uh, west of Port Macquarie. Um, and for $25 a night, you'd be struggling to find something better. So take a look. So we're back home now, we went and filled up the cruiser and she came in at 23.8 litres per 100 for the whole trip. Uh, it is a little bit higher than normal. We did a lot of stop starting, getting footage, putting the drone up and down, um, taking off up, up hills and over the range all the time. I really heard it. Uh, saying that, it's probably relative to, you know, I normally get 22 litres per 100. So up over the range, it, it's always gonna use more. Uh, and to put it in perspective, friends of ours with the D-Max, same size caravan, and add a GCM of about six tons, so about a ton lighter overall. They used 19 to 20 litres per 100 to do the same trip. So it is always relative to, you know, the weight you are, not, not really, you know, the size of the motor or there's no one motor that much more efficient than the next. All the technology is pretty similar. So please comment down below anything I've said in this video. Um, if you've got something to add, especially with the EGT temps, um, I've never really heard someone say a hard and fast rule about, you know, what's what's the top temperature before you start doing damage, melting pistons and whatnot. Obviously, the easy answer to that is just keep it as low as you possibly can. But if anyone's got a real definitive answer on that, I'd be happy to hear it. Um, and I think a lot, of, a lot of others would. Also, what do you guys think about towing in proportional mode as opposed to non-proportional mode? Um, I end up doing the whole trip in non-proportional mode, so in, in the green setting on the, the Tow Pro. It did work the brakes on the caravan a lot harder. Um, so I was playing around with, with the, um, the gain control a little bit more than what I would with proportional mode. I just felt it was more reliable though. Um, in proportional mode, mine seems to yeah, not be as reliable. Sometimes they'll work and, and then other times they won't. Uh, and, and I get a, the, the, the flashing red fault light come on quite a bit. And I, I have never been able to solve that. And I've heard that is quite a common comment, um, especially with a hydraulic disc setup. So comment, comment below about that as well. If, if you have an answer for that and why, why the fault light comes on or whether you believe that the proportional versus non-proportional is better, um, these are just my experiences and I did find that the non-proportional was more reliable. So the caravan we're towing in the video is um, a titanium ATX and we are gonna do a full rundown on that and there's quite a few little custom things we did with this caravan that um, really set it off and and it's perfect for us and I think it would be perfect for a lot of people. Um, a lot of little things you can overlook when saving weight makes makes all the difference at the end. So yeah, if you're on the East Coast, you're heading inland uh, and you haven't been to Apsley Falls, that's a great little stopover. Mount Seaview is a great stop for three to four nights. The dog friendly, uh, there's hot showers there, there's powered sites if you need it. Great swimming in the freshwater creek. There's four wheel drive tours on their property, so it's private property four wheel drive tours. Um, it's just there's just heaps to do and at $25 a night it is really cost effective and um, really good for families there so it's one of our favorite spots um, so check it out if you're heading inland from the east coast I hope you're enjoying the Land Cruiser 79 series of videos I'm really just trying to answer the questions that I wanted to know before I was purchasing the vehicle myself um, you know we all buy them to probably most people buy them to to work hard to tow to tour to four wheel drive I'm giving my really honest opinions here um, what it is capable of especially with towing over a mountain range like that that was a perfect example of 
in my eyes why you would buy one um, the fact that they are quite a bit heavier than most of your dual cab utes in I feel it makes it, it, it just tow a bit nicer on the road the fact that I'm heavier than what I'm towing um, you can just sleep a bit better knowing that so anyway guys I really hope you're enjoying these videos we've got heaps and heaps of content coming out so make sure you like subscribe share around and don't forget you only live once so get out there and enjoy it